Xbox Game Showcase, more like Xbox. It <laughs> <laughs> was a bad or something. Chris? Welcome to Beanstalk, episode seven. Yes, it was bad. Oh, I, uh, I mean, I don't think it was bad per se. I mean, it. I saw it was kind of, of a letdown. I think is more accurate. I think mm. the problem is that I saw a lot of concepts. Uh, I went mm -hmm. I went through this opinion, like, when we talked about the PS5 reveal showcase. But when you just show me a trailer of the concept of your game, I don't understand yeah, how to... people can get me... Inter how they think they can get me interested in that. Because, like, okay, you're... We're going to get into this real soon. If I pick something from the list... Anything that was shown off in, like, the last rapid fire of games at the end of the show, like the Gunk, the Medium, New Genesis, Crossfire X, although I, I think Crossfire what kind of names X had are a these? bit of... Crossfire X actually had gameplay. I'm like, oh, this... Okay, this shooter looks cool, and he was the Ghost Man. Yeah. Oh, but that's just a bunch of... I don't, I don't like these naming conventions. We're yeah, the names. they're stupid it, it, names. But no, I was like, Crossfire, kind of you get caught up in it. Crossfire! And at the moment, we... <laughs> most of the games that were shown only had trailers, only had CGI trailers of what they can be like, this is the concept of the game. And it's like, well, then what is your game, actually? What is actually this game? Yeah, I never liked concept trailers, either. Because, like, sometimes they'll look really good, and then when the game actually comes out, you're just like, oh, wasn't what I was expecting. But, you mm -hmm. know, it, it is what it is, I suppose. So, we might as well go down the list... I took notes and I kept tried to keep track as I could of every game that was announced. We're talking about the Xbox Game Showcase that aired whenever the 24th? It aired this past week. Fair enough. <laughs> yep, it did. You, that's, that's correct. Yeah, something happened. And sure, a lot of things got announced and Xbox said some really promising things. Like they kept saying like 22 console exclusives upon launch. And you can play all of them if you buy the Xbox Game Pass. I'm like, hmm. I just thought, hmm, I get Xbox Game Pass. And how much is this Xbox Game Pass? The I think Game it's like Pass? 15, bucks. <laughs> it's 15 bucks a month. 15? It's a uh, little, uh, like... But aren't they including, like, live with it also now? Isn't that what you're also getting with it? I didn't hear about that. And from what I, what I recall, that's actually not the case. I'm pretty sure live and Game Pass are separate things. Speaking of which... I really hate the idea of having to pay for an online service. I really do. It pisses me off to an insane degree. And now Nintendo is doing it too with the... Uh, the what's Switch it Online? Yeah, Switch Online thing. I paid for that though. But that's because... <laughs> that's like it's three times cheaper than yeah. the, the live and the... Yeah, the difference being PlayStation. Switch Online is $20 for a year. Everything else is $50. It's 20 for a year? Yeah. yeah, man, I gotta get on that. <laughs> but I don't have my Switch, man. Like I told you guys, uh, my sister and her boyfriend borrowed mine so they could play Animal Crossing. And now you never get it back. No, I bring it up every time. You know, I'm like, hey, man, you know, don't forget. That's no, man. Mine's got the cool One Punch Man decals, man. No, that's my <laughs> yo. Oh, I mean my 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 stuff. I mean whatever. I, I just try to hold yourself back, but B Bulbasaur's just running around the room. He's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, you might hear him. Okay, so the first thing that they showed off, the most promising thing, the thing that they had actually gameplay of, like a straight up demo, mm -hmm. Halo Infinite. And another Halo game? Another Halo, new Halo. Ooh, another Halo. Okay. Continuation of 5, I think. I never actually finished 5. I think I only played it for like 5 minutes when I had a friend who had it. To to be yeah, fair, I never I also I never touched 5. Uh, the only Halo game I've touched was Combat Evolved. I think I might have played... The first one? Yeah. I think I might have played one with uh, the B-Ray. It was the... Uh, was it 3 or Reach or something like that? It was one of those. Mm -hmm. It was free on one Xbox One. Or and, not Xbox, the Xbox Live, whatever. And 3 mm -hmm. and yeah. Reach are, like, without a doubt, the best. They're the most fun. Yeah, Reach is awesome. That's, that's as much of Halo no, as I No, because I think have. Reach was, I think, one of the first games where you could actually customize what your character looked like. Okay, it wasn't mm -hmm. that one. And then the story <laughs> actually is like, oh, yeah, no, this is what you look like. If that's your character, that's what it looks like in the story. And you're like, oh, mm -hmm. yee. It was good. It was cosmetics, mm -hmm. man. Was... No, just grind them out, because we know you're going to keep playing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But from what I can tell is that I think Xbox 
So the the f- footage that they showed it was basically like it started with press button to start demo whatever the buttons are on the Xbox Series X controller. So I think they were going to have a sh- um like a stand for it, an actual display for it at E3 if E3 mm-hmm. had happened. Like they were prepared to show off the whole thing and like let people play it and experience it for the first time. Mm-hmm. So it is pretty disappointing that uh, people didn't get a chance to do that. Yeah, like get their hands on it, you mean? Yeah. The actual mm-hmm. Xbox? Yeah, the actual Series X, the actual Halo Infinite game. And from what I saw, it looked very basic. No. Like in my head the whole time when I was watching it, I was like, this kind of looks like if they took Halo 1 and then they upscaled it from what they had already upscaled in the Master Chief Collection. To be fair, Halo 1 is pretty good. Halo 1 is great. Yeah. No, I'm not saying like it's bad. I'm not saying the old games are bad. I'm just saying for a game called Infinite, for the new Halo game that is it's supposed because to... because now that there's not a person in the suit, it can go on forever. Wait, yeah. Wait, there's, there's not a person in the suit? Yeah. What what happened? Try to yeah, explain. Yeah, see, I th- also had the same question. I'm like, man, I guess I gotta play 5. Man, whoa. Wait, did, did Master Chief die? Is, so, is that what I'm getting here? Try to explain what, like, the trailer that they showed, Kevin. Man, okay, so at first you don't even freaking know it's Halo because it's a bunch of, like, robots putting together a robot man. But then you'd see, like, they chisel the 117 on the chest yeah. and you're like, what? And then it's you see it's a hollow piece of armor. And then it goes, oh, but dip, 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 the Cortana's talking some dumb Wait. shit that doesn't matter. Wait, I thought I thought Master Chief was a man, though. He is a man. That was, but no, that but was now, like... now he's just a data chip they put in the suit. Wait, so now he's Cortana. Ooh. No, no, that's not. That's not nearly. That's way better than what they did. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that mean? Cortana was a Spartan too. No. At one what? Before she got turned into a data chip that you put. No, Cortana head? is based off the doctor who made the oh, AI Reach. program. Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> no, that's what Reach Reach is about. It's pretty good. Yeah, now, I remember reading because I had a book mm-hmm. that was Reach. Dude, that book was sad because. They all got murdered. <laughs> they all got murdered. You yeah. are correct. And that that's the game, too. That, that's spoiler, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they all died. For, how old is Reach? Reach? It's old enough to where, if you don't know, you probably didn't care anyway. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. if you do, if you have an Xbox One and you have the Master Chief Collection, you can download Halo Reach as, like, DLC. But it is just the game with that upscaling that they gave to the other games in the Master Chief Collection. That's the only reason that I would want to get Master Chief Collection back a long time ago I sold it off. I'm just going to throw the heavy spoiler out there. In case you didn't get it, Reach got blown up. Death Star. What do you mean? They glassed the planet, didn't they? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. They didn't glass it? I thought they glassed it. Because that was like in the book when I was reading it, that's what they kept calling it. They kept calling it glass the planet or whatever. And that's what ended up happening. I don't remember, but I do remember that the end of the game, the last mission is you in a final stand, like trying to go as long as you can, holding off the hordes holding off the aliens and I uh, was the flood there too no no so it was just a horde of aliens the elites the and covenant. such yeah the elites in the covenant and you were just holding them off and that was an amazing final mission because you oh yeah man anytime once you got that level that's the only level you played it was infinite it, it and was you, and then you mm. get your buddies in and then I think I tried to play with Brian one time and that was pretty cool yeah so it, <clears throat> it, it was glassed which is heavy uh, plasma bombardment or whatever of the planet. Yeah. So I don't know if that means the planet was completely destroyed. But no, everything was, was over- dead one way or another. Yeah. It was overrun. I mean, yeah. you were be that final mission was you the, all the aliens were overrunning the entire yeah, planet. Yeah, you're sending Master Chief Rip. and Cortana into space so that they can make it. And you're like, oh, okay. And then, oh, dude, that, that team is Spartan. They got murdered. They were man, such no, a nice man, team bring back Spartan. Noble Six, yo. <sighs> the truest OG. Dude, I gotta find that book, because that book was great. Yeah. It was such a great book. But anyway, yeah, back yeah. to the... Uh, we, yeah, we've man. been talking more about Reach than we have. Yeah, so guys, <laughs> play Reach. Clearly, that's the, that's I the message. I mean, there's not much to talk about with Infinite. Yeah. I wish they had... I wish that people did have a chance to get their hands on it, and like, we could get uh, first-hand uh, experiences from people online, or reviewers, or YouTubers, who got a chance with the game, because... From what I could see, it was just very basic Halo gameplay, playing playing on the Halo. I think, because mm-hmm. I feel like it, 
that's that's what they showed and that's kind of a part of the plot like the halo is back and it's you master chief is off again and he's probably a computer <laughs> program rip master chief you dead on reach <laughs> No, you didn't. No, man, you no. died to save. Oh, oh. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, just I didn't even finish the full part of the Halo part of the trailer. I saw some irritating guy drive a car, and he wouldn't shut up. And I'm like, <laughs> man, is this the new character we control? So I, I skipped to honestly, I didn't watch the whole thing. I skipped around to I'm like, oh, this looks like crap. Oh, this also looks like nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> but I had heard about the uh, the the fable leak at the very end, and I'm oh. like, oh. I think, I think I heard this mentioned somewhere. Because I also was wilding now, because I'm like, oh, man, uh, and me, and me and Chris were talking about it earlier, but, man, Fable is one of those, mm, I feel bad because I had forgotten Fable existed, but, man, Fable's, mm, I don't know. It's, it's one done. of those special, uh-huh. very special It's one of those game. hidden gems, right, Fable? Maybe if Gregory, the special guest, gets an Xbox, and we'll just have him buy the Fable. <laughs> I don't want to have to buy that crap, but I want to get to play. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> If we if we want to experience Fable, it's going to come to an argument between the four of us of like who gets stuck with the Xbox, because we all want the PS5. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna get it from until like five years in. Let's be real here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saving up now, so I'm getting a day one. No, in case anyone doesn't realize this, I got my PS4 like two years ago. <laughs> no man, yeah, the PlayStation has got a great collection. And you've got time. Yeah, no. Every time there's a console generation, I tend to get my console, ten, like five to ten years in, after the next console was announced. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> except if it's a Nintendo product, then you know I get it day one. Okay, so clearly there's a favorite. I mean, otherwise I'm playing on my PC. No, so. but I feel like um, I've never, I've also always been late to the punch myself. So I feel like, oh man, okay, I'm actually working. I have my own money. Man, yeah, I'm gonna enough. be a walk in there big t- <laughs> and buy me that PlayStation Five. <laughs> walk in there fully erect, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, you too," and everyone in line. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? Hmm? Um, you know that episode of South Park where they do the whole console wars? Oh yeah. Because I watched that recently again. Yeah, I'm hoping there's a Black Friday <laughs> bundaru, and then like PS5s <laughs> go for nothing. What's oh. what's what's a little? I don't know, I wouldn't call it cringy, but what's a little, uh, in hindsight, sad <laughs> to see about that uh, arc is that they were clearly trying to lean in and be like, oh man, Xbox One is better, all of you saying PS4 is better, you're stupid. And boy, hindsight is twenty twenty, ain't it? Yeah, it, X- it didn't age well. It did not age well like, at all. Like, Stan, you were right all along to try to side with PS4. It's what? not just the touchpad, wait, wait, it's to, the everything. Wait, to be fair though... Because at the end of that episode, they did go, you know what, this sucks. Let's just go outside. So, you know what? Maybe they were onto some. <laughs> no, they couldn't admit that they were wrong. <laughs> I think yeah. so, too. Yeah, no. And then that arc leads episode. into the Stick of Truth game. And stop kicking the table. So, not bad. Man, Stick of Truth is so good. That Fractured Butthole, have you guys played to completion? I haven't played no. either. I, have I haven't. Them, though. Um. So those of you who know, I don't need to tell you, but hmm, I think the show's bad. The game gets away with some things because a lot of people don't <laughs> beat games nowadays. So you know, you think. Um, can I can I take a guess? Yes. Is there an actual fractured butt? There is. Okay. Oh my god. A fractured butt <laughs> that transcends time and space. In fact. Ooh. I think I didn't get my hands on this. Oh, it, okay. Man, <laughs> I tell you what. Because I, I, I had seen, I'm like, oh, the Steelbook, oh, I got the complete, so that means, like, all DLC, but I yeah. had bought it and forgotten about it. <laughs> so I went, I downloaded all the extra stuff on there. Man, that game was good at all the costumes and get new new companions. I, I'm waiting for that. I know, come on, South Park, that third game, come on now. <laughs> Is there a new season of South Park, or? Yeah, have... there will be, eventually. What season are they on? Because I'm on season 17 right now. 20... 23, 4? That really? sounds close. Yeah. The, the seasons are super short, I've noticed. It's always the last really season, short season. The last season was extremely short in uh, like in comparison mm-hmm. to what the show is supposed to be. I mean, like every season, like 10 episodes. And there was also like a... Yeah, that was like coming off of like 20, 24 every episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
there was also this the entire season the short season that it was it was there was a running joke like they i don't know if it was necessarily a joke like my brother and a lot of people online are like it was just a joke but they they were leaning really hard into the cancel south park Ooh. joke quote unquote oh no don't as if it. I love that shit. as if yeah. Matt and Trey are like, please cancel us because we'd rather we'd rather not leave the show to some idiot. We'd rather the show get canceled so that we can just be done and then can move on to other things and nobody will ruin the show when we're done. Yeah, but what, they won't. Mm. But I feel like it's going to be one of those. Oh, so we could do bigger and better things, and then they're never heard from again because that's all they were good for. <laughs> And they, instead of being like, oh, content with this amazing thing they've done, they're like, no, we could do better now, and then they super cannot. What's it, um, speaking of... Unless you, I, I don't know them personally, maybe <laughs> I'm talking out of my caboose right now, but I don't know. Yeah, speaking of the shows, though, um, Rick and Morty season two, uh, season five, sorry, had a teaser trailer that came out, like, the other day. I did see that Adult Swim was doing, like, this, uh, like, this online Adult Swim con to yeah. pretty much promote Rick and Morty season five. Does that mean it's and coming like, out soon? Yeah, be... I don't know the full details of what the con was supposed to be. Yeah. Like, they had, like, scheduled that they would be airing on TV, like, certain things, like, talking behind the scenes with the creators of Rick and Morty yeah. and talking about season five. And, uh, and since it was just going to be, like, this Adult Swim con kind of event, they were going to be talking to a few others, showing off a few shows... And like doing this kind of cool thing, and I don't know if it's happened yet. I think it's going to be happening in a week or so, or so. Mm, but I don't know. It yeah, probably does right. mean that season five will be here sooner than we think. Because I don't want to have to wait another three years for another season. Because that's it, it's it's kind of rough. It's it's rough waiting that long. <laughs> but um, also I think what Justin Roiland, right? Roiland, yeah, his season two of what is it called? Solar Opposites is coming out too. Yeah. So there's that. I, I'm not too much of a fan. The, the show that is just Rick and Morty, but with different characters. Kinda. I, I didn't like it as much. But not as good. Yeah. Mm. Not yeah. as good. I, I would say not as good. That's what I would give it. Anyway. Sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle, and then you just... You stop there. Don't try to catch lightning yeah. in a bottle twice, because you won't. Anyways, we went on to a long tangent. Yeah. Very long tangent. So after Halo Infinite, there was... State of Decay 3. Really? Maybe yeah. the third one? Yeah. Dang. It's coming out. I think next year. I was just talking about one and mm -hmm. two yeah, yeah. like a moment ago. It wasn't a gameplay trailer. That's going oh. to be a running theme with this showcase. Yeah. <laughs> it was not gameplay. It was just a I mean, trailer. Well, what are they going to do with three, though? That's my question. Uh, If I can uh, somewhat... It's going to have a Battle Royale mode. It's going to be online. It's going to be an MMO. It's going to be a whole bunch of crap that you don't want. You know, if it was actually MMO, State of Decay, I think that's what's... Man, true, speaking right? of MMOs, I heard there was some troll on the on the internet that people were trying to get people to believe that Fable was going to be an MMO. And just hearing <laughs> that hurt my heart. <laughs> it's already been debunked, but I'm like, man, oh no, don't do that to me. Oh, so, uh, anyway. if I can describe what the trailer was like, it was like this girl in a forest, and she was sharpening arrows that she had made herself, and then this... A beast of undiscernible origin came up and she screamed at it. She did a really weird scream at it. And then she went and she found a deer that had been like zombified. Whatever the concept in that game of that is. She ate the deer? No, the deer okay. was eating a wolf. and the oh. Because the deer was infected with the something. I don't know State of Decay so I couldn't speak for certain. Dude, I've got no clue because... In the first one, it was kind of more like normal zombies for mm. the most part, but then you also had like, um, well, you had like some stronger ones and that kind of thing, but for the most part, they just were There's just, just a lot of normal ones. Just yeah, just around. a bunch of a lot of normal ones that walk around. Some are faster, some are stronger, mm. that kind of thing. But that was kind of it. It was kind of like just a normal zombie apocalypse when you're just trying to survive in it, mm. which is pretty cool. I like the, it was, it was just really well executed. Um, I think two, they, I don't know what it was they did, but I think they just expanded on that. Mm. So, I mean, if three, they're just going in a whole different direction, I guess, more power to them. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, it was just a trailer. It's just State of Decay 3 is happening, pretty much. Okay. 
That's interesting. Yeah, they just wanted to announce that they're working on it. I'll keep an eye on that one. After that trailer, they talked about Forza. Skip. (laughs) Skip. (laughs) Yeah, see, I also skipped. I'm like, oh, those cars look great. Skip. (laughs) Yeah, I don't really care about racing games all that much. It's just, yeah, that's basically what it was. Like, let's show you what Forza looks like to show you how powerful our technology is. And that's sort of it. That's basically just like saying, here's the next FIFA game. Or here's the next, uh, what's it called? What's the other one? Madden. Madden, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, the games that are actually getting worse over time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But no, those ones, well, to be fair, well, no, maybe. I don't know about Madden, but I know with FIFA, it's it's been the same for a I know you, all, all of your kind of a cheating little meat bag you just, you uses the goalie, and you can't freaking man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we should, we should stream f- freaking FIFA one of these days, man, so, so people would see. So in FIFA 11, because that was what I had for the longest time, <laughs> until I finally got, I think it was FIFA 19. But um, no, I would, if you run around with the goalie, and if anyone tackles the goalie, it's practically a red card yes. for whatever reason. And so yes. I would just screw around and play as the goalie yeah, as, there was as no they tried to tackle it. me. And, I'm like, man. <laughs> and they would just keep getting red cards. It was pretty funny. I, I don't think that's I don't think that works in the newer games, but um, I hope not because yeah. <laughs> I think they fixed that. But um, oh, goodness, no, yeah, it was, it was fun. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I basically, buy a FIFA game like once every ten years. Mm-hmm. At this point, that's what I do. So Forza, who cares? And then after that, they uh, they showed that they showed a game called Everwild, which is a game by Rareware, which is a company that I was pretty sure they were just using. To have the rights to the old the one, IPs. I'm sorry, is this the one where it looks like they were um, element bending the animals to do stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, right. What is this? Yeah. Man, I don't, I don't know. I can... <laughs> the art style looks just like Breath of the Wild to me. So I, okay. that's just what I had in the back of my mind. And I was curious what it was like. And in fact, you do like have this sort of tribe of people who can control... Or, like, influence animals and influence nature with their elemental powers. That's interesting. It is interesting. There was this one game Yeah, like, on... the, it's like animal bending, the secret yeah. element. There was this one game on, I think it's on, I don't know if it's on consoles, but I know it's on PC. And it was, like, this thing about, um, you're, like, part of a little tribe. And then you get, you, f- I guess the your village gets destroyed by, like, an earthquake or something. Mm-hmm. And then you find out there's more to the world than your little village. And... There's like talking animals and they all have factions and stuff and then oh jeez yeah it was it was a really awesome game but yeah that's what that reminded me of I don't know why because you guys were talking about uh animals and elements. yeah animal animal bending man hey. no because <laughs> you see them like wave their crap around and the animal just like weird. knocks the okay. tree over and I'm like oh man that's elaborate I want to take a look at this one I don't know yeah uh, it seems interesting I had sure. I had a flash of the last Airbender actually when I saw them <laughs> doing all those movements and all the thing did I'm like oh boy. I still need to rewatch. I have not rewatched the Avatar: The Last Airbender yet, and it's on Netflix. You no. need to rewatch I'm the always... show and yeah. rewatch the Last Airbender movie by Shyamalan, because that is particularly special. Uh, I'm not. I don't think. I think I'll skip the movie. Cause, no, you should. Right, it's here, a here, here's a story. Experience. So, when the movie first came out, for the Avatar movie, yeah, I wasn't in the states. I was um, I was visiting family abroad, mm-hmm. and they pirate movies there. So, because, you know, third world country. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got it for like a buck. So, you know, I bought it. I bought the DVD. I put it in. And then and you know, saw it wasn't worth the dollar you spent on it? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> it was not worth the dollar I spent on it. Plus, it was... So, if you thought it was trash, try watching that trash with poor quality. Like movie... Like someone took a camera in a movie theater quality. Uh. Oh, no. And then someone walking from the bathroom and crap. Man, those... Why do they even sell those? Man. That's literally what it was. Or there's... Someone brought their baby. And but instead of taking them out, they cry the whole time. To be fair, though, the, the movie theater quality ones, because, you know, they, they still want people to buy their DVDs. Mm, yeah. So... They they actually do a decent job of just capturing the whole screen, but you still hear everything <laughs> in the background. Oh, you hear like them rustling in their popcorn yeah, crowd. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if someone decides to block the projector, well, whoops. <laughs> and then the rest of the movie is yeah. black or the back of someone's By the way, head. this is also how I watched Toy Story 3 when it came out. Mm-hmm. Oh, see that's, see, that's no good. Yeah. Now that's sad. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, watch Last Airbender. And uh, then... yeah. 
I think I don't know, but I don't know if you know this, Chris, but I called Greg up after I watched that first episode. I'm like, man, dude, this movie is so awful. (laughs) It is so bad. And he's like, yeah, man, no, it's something special. So, like, but we didn't understand his vision. No, we didn't. Virtually everyone other than him. Nobody will ever understand (laughs) his vision. If you've never watched Avatar The Last Airbender or The Last Airbender Movie, watch The Last Airbender Movie, then watch the show, I can guarantee you will not want to watch the movie after you watch the show. Or you'll feel severely scorned for watching the movie after. I I think you might just want to skip the movie and watch the show. Because if you watch the movie, you might get, you know, thrown away from the show. And the show is a million times... Actually, I I guess a million times zero is zero. So let's not say that. Let's just say... uh, if you've never watched a movie in your life and you start with Last Airbender, I think you would like it because you don't know. Because <laughs> you don't know better. Yeah. Just watch the show. <laughs> Skip the movie. Uh-huh. No, man. But oh, we watched the movie recently, and we just man, we in, we had a baller time. We watched for different reasons. We watched people flailing, and then a oh gust God. of wind would come out. It took four people to lift a rock. Oh, it was the worst. And then the guy he had a spastic gesture and then he kicked the <laughs> rock and then that was it. Oh, Lord. Huge oh. tangent. Okay. M- moving mm-hmm. yeah, after Everwild was called a thing called Tell Me Why, which is by Don't Nod, which is the guys who did Life is Strange. Mm, okay. okay. All right. That's, that's promising. What is it? What is it? Pretty, about? I mean, it's kind of like the same thing as Life is Strange. Pretty much the same kind of game, but with a uh, different story, completely different, and and a more realistic art style. Instead of being sort of like comic-y, the way Life is Strange is, it has a more realistic, and I think it uses like models of the actors who portray the characters uh, okay. within the story. Uh, I watched the trailer, and as far as I can tell, it's it's sort of like selling the story as like this mystery. Uh, it's always a mystery. Yeah, this sort of mystery <laughs> as if this brother and sister, they had a mom who went crazy and the mom attacked the brother and then the brother was separated from the sister for the rest of their lives until adulthood. And then they get back together and oh, just that's... meet each other at the house that they Okay, they still know their brother and sister, right? It's not like yeah, they, they meet and they become no. lovers. And no, they remember like... for some reason. That's all. Because that's where I thought this was going. It would be like, oh, God. <laughs> No, but what an interesting... Most games don't have the gall to do that nowadays. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, yeah. No, they remember... That's actually a part of it. They remember their childhood. Okay. They... Or at least seemingly... The, it, it feels like it's selling it as if the game is you trying to uncover the brother's memories. Trying to remember exactly what happened. And everyone around you is always being sort of vague sort of trying to lead you in certain directions about this true story, yet the sister is leading you in another direction, trying to be like, no, this is exactly what happened. Don't let people confuse you. Our mother was actually evil. And that gives me the impression that maybe the twist in the game is that the sister was uh, was behind an attack and that the woman who attacked the brother wasn't actually their mother, that maybe the sister's crazy. Ooh. I'm just calling that out right now, just mm-hmm. trying to get that prediction out there, just so that when it comes out, and if I'm so, right... So, for poster- <laughs> posterity's sake, we can say you're wrong, right? What yeah. <laughs> if, it co- if, it, if I just say something crazy and it turns out I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But if I say something crazy and I'm right, then all of you are crazy for not believing me. That is true. Anyway. But it looks like a good thing. Probably going to be yeah. nice and enjoyable. I never played Life is Strange 2, but I loved Life is Strange 1. Well, see, I hated the ending of Life is Strange 1. That's what kind of... I wasn't too fond of that. Yeah, because it kind of felt like everything that had happened, it only comes down to this one thing if you choose... A or B. A or B. Yeah. But no, Life is Strange is great. I liked it. Um, I, I still haven't have yet finished to play 2. 2, I two is pretty two. good. I haven't played 2 yet. Oh yeah, because I finally... Um, uh, I think episode 1 was like free with live or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I played it and I'm like, man, too bad I didn't get the whole thing. And then I'm like... Uh-huh. Caved yeah. into my weaker self and Basically, I any game that's Telltale style, which is Life is Strange, etc. Mm-hmm. Even though, you know, Telltale's gone now. Rest but it peace. lives on in the good games it, until it, dawn it, and Life it, is Strange. 
Yeah. Oh man, Until do... Dawn too could be. Oh, they man. didn't do Until Dawn. No, but no, no but no, their they <laughs> spirit, their their style. They really did innovate, not just innovate, but like you know, reinvigorated the whole visual novel kind of um, genre. The adventure, the adventure, uh, story driven experience. Yeah, they really, they really helped fix it up, and um, you know, push it in a direction that I do, I do mm-hmm. like. And so, rest in peace, Telltale. I do love you. I love you. Yeah, too bad they couldn't do good enough <laughs> to save their own company. <laughs> poorly, yeah, poorly, poorly mismanaged, mismanaged. Mm-hmm. But you know, mm-hmm. what can you do? Make good games, good stories. Yeah, oh man, I really would have loved to see uh, that Batman, the that third one. Batman again. Yeah, the the third Telltale Batman, because that second one was really started to do some things, because you could, actually, spoilers, but I think Joker becomes the Joker either way, actually, now that I'm trying to remember. I have yet to play the Batman one. It's pretty good, actually, I'd say. Yeah, and the so my favorite Telltale games is um, The Wolf Among Us, and mm-hmm. of course The Walking Dead. That was uh, like the first one. That was yeah. before Walking Dead. The Wolf Among Us is, I think, their best, their best game of all time. Cool. They started with a bang and they got worse. <laughs> yeah, that was their best one. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's uh, why they went under. Yeah, probably. But no, The Walking Dead, um, Tales from the Borderlands, really good too. Mm-hmm. I think, I think The Walking Dead comes second place for me after mm-hmm. Wolf Among Us, and then Tales from the Borderlands comes third. And then Game of Thrones, I like because Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Although a lot of Game people, of Thrones, hate, a lot of yeah. people hated on it. I liked it. But um, they just hated it because um, you fail no matter what happens. Oh. But that's Game of Thrones for you. That's Game of Thrones. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So I, I would probably rank that as fourth. And then every other game that Telltale made mm-hmm. can go underneath those. Those are the four that I care about. Okay, so after Tell Me Why, they announced that the second Ori game, Ori and the Well of the Wisp, is getting a port to Series X. And they just went and they explained how uh, Will of the Wisp will look better on Series X because of something, because of like 4K and something like Series X is better at uh, rendering rendering, 4K? rendering like frames. Because I couldn't, I don't know this for certain, I was under the impression that since Will of the Wisp was already on Xbox One and PS4 that it was already in 60 frames. But they explained it as if it was now in 60 frames. I didn't really get what they were saying. Like, are they saying like... Aren't most games on consoles always 30 FPS? That's usually the case, but Xbox One and PS4, especially with the Pro and the X... Yeah. The Pro and the X can absolutely render in 60 FPS. I know that a lot of games frame lock, though, to 30. Maybe that's the case. That could be it. Isn't that one of the... the, uh... One of the things they're pushing for the new gen is that they can lock it at 60. Or, or that might be my understanding. I might be wrong. Probably. I'm not that, sure. That got me. I was like, oh, okay, so that's going to become the standard. Okay, let's see. But uh, maybe not. I, I kind of would want that to be the standard because 30, when you play a game on a console. Because I don't believe play... that over 8K. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm all, 8K, that's too much. You get out of here. But, I mean, it's too soon. We've only had 4K. I for mean, like how a big year. a TV yeah. would you actually need to actually be able to tell the difference with an 8K? I not I don't know honestly. No. Yeah. Because like I mean, I can't really tell the difference between like a four K and HD. <laughs> well, I mean to be fair, four K does look more crisp. Yeah. But like, I mean, we're at the point now where, it, I think the old uh, resolution is at the point where I'm just like, I like it anyway. Good either by the mm-hmm. way you you watch it. So. Yeah. Also, give me a console that doesn't sound like a jet engine when it's running my stuff. PlayStation. <laughs> Come on. To yeah. be fair, my PC sounds like that, so I, I'm used to it at this point. Yeah. Although I do like when it sounds like the console itself is dying trying to run a game, and you're like, <laughs> oh man, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Remember <laughs> my PS2? <sighs> yeah. What happened to that? Oh, well, I mean, whatever happens to consoles when they get old. Oh. Like a few years ago, they go back, insane. back when we were in high school, Kevin uh, wanted to play Kingdom Hearts for the first time on my PS2. Oh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> And it sounded like that PS2 was cooking <laughs> bacon. <laughs> it did. Rip PS2. No, um, I know, like, on some of my consoles, sometimes I, I'll get a stutter. Like, you know, a stutter every now and again, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I'll get, like, a, you know, the frames will freeze up or something like that. Especially when it comes to, like, newer games that come out at the end of the console's lifespan. 
I notice I'll get like a, j a jitter on occasion on my pro, but I noticed my X actually has been for the most part consistently. Even when it freezes, yeah. it doesn't lose mm -hmm. it. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool, but no, is that all you got? And then, mm -hmm. To be fair, I think it's my 360 that does all oh. the chugging. Yeah, no, that okay, that I will, I'll believe that. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've, I've, I've really had that much chug mm -hmm. on the PS4 because I've got mm -hmm. the pro or whatever. Yeah. So, that one tends to be fine. I don't know. Uh, day one runs of God of War and Spider Man were pretty rough and loud. I tell you what. Probably, I, I can I can believe that, especially since they're like brand new. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, this is the generation where we silence the consoles. You know, I I think we'll have another generation after this one where they finally do silence them. God, <laughs> <laughs> that's my bet. Gonna be waiting years for it. <laughs> Anyways, after Ori, uh, Obsidian. Really came out the gates and they took control of the showcase for a few Obsidian minutes. Did, uh, what's it called? That's... Their most recent thing is Outer Worlds. Okay, they did that one. They did the South Park games as well, the yeah. recent ones. Mm -hmm. So they announced first Wait, thing. Outer Worlds or Outer Wilds? Outer Worlds. Uh, is that the the one with? Uh, the it's story? like Fallout. Okay, it's Let's that see. one. Because they the, made not the other one. Because they made Fallout New Vegas and they were like, let's make Fallout New Vegas, but let's like. Yeah. Juice it up and let's make our own IP. Mm. And, uh, I gotcha. And my brother has Outer Outer Worlds and he's like, it's great. It's like Fallout New Vegas. I heard it's really short though. It is. And that's why first thing Obsidian announced was the expansion Peril on Gorgon. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Which is like a whole new world uh, or like a new location to ex uh, to explore. To expand the with a universe. new With another story for you to explore. Alrighty. So that looks good. Outer Worlds already exists, and it's going to be on the Series X. Outer Worlds is getting a port. Okay. The next thing, they announced a new game called Grounded. And it's like this sort of survival, crafting, whatever, all the generic things, but with kids who have shrunk down to the size of ants, and you're exploring your backyard. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of down now. Oh. See, okay, that's I, the one. I, I, I was like... I was like, all right, just another crafting one. And then you're like, but they're shrunk. And I'm like, okay, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a lot more interesting than those usual crafting games. No, because and... um, I think the only... There's a few survival games I can think of off the top of my head that are really mm -hmm. good. Like The Long Dark, which is... Because anything where you have to survive against the elements, rather than just, you know, zombies, mm -hmm. I like those better mm -hmm. than just uh, the generic zombie game. Mm -hmm. And so Grounded, like... Looks super good, and they announced that it's going to be on Steam Early Access, and there's going to be, the well, like, the beta is going to be out, and there's going to be Early Access that you can try out, and they, Obsidian actually wants to hear from people, they want people to play the game and tell them what's good about the game, what's bad, so that yeah. they can keep building the game and keep making it better for when it finally comes out. They didn't announce a release date or like a window when they want to get it out, so we'll see about that. So wait, is this is this a video game uh tie movie tie in for Mom I Shrunk the Kid the Kids? No, no, no. It's not that cool. Darn. It's a new one. It's a new, it's that movie's a new so old. Honest. I haven't seen that movie in years. <laughs> I just had to make the reference. I did find it really cheeky in the trailer. Uh, I. Sometimes game companies de try to do things that are unique or like tongue in cheek and yeah. like try to get people's attention in the sea of things that are the same thing. Uh, they did that where they opened up with like, if you if you're waiting to see the biggest game, biggest game release of this year, then wait for Cyberpunk to come yeah. out. <laughs> but if you're looking for the smallest, we got grounded. I think November, right? For Cyberpunk. As it stands, let's okay. until it's pushed back again in November. <laughs> no, I think I think it'll actually come out this November. Uh, but I'll put my money on it too. So third thing, Obsidian they just had a trailer, not gameplay, for this new game called Avowed, which is just like this first-person fantasy uh, action RPG. Looks the same as anything else. Which one is this? It's called Avowed. That's the point. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, 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 you know what? I'm to, uh, what does it look like, at least? Just give me a... It's just the same. 
The same? Okay. Looks like anything. You can look up the trailer and be like, is this Middle Earth? Is this Ooh. Dragon Age? Dragon Age was great. Hello, Dragon yeah. Age. That's good Yeah, times. people forget. People poo on Dragon Age. Especially that special guest who shall not be named, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, like, did you... Uh, just We got... no. Get, uh, did you finish the DLC expansion at the very end of Inquisition? I, I, I've only played Origins. Well, that... Uh, and I think I played a little bit of... I feel like that's the only part of Dragon Age ever that sets up, oh, yeah, that next one's going to be the one. Oh. Kind of things. And then you're like, oh... Did they, did they ever make another one? No. After, no, okay. No, that's what I yet. thought. Yeah. At least, hopefully, not It hurts not my yet. feelings. <laughs> but, yeah, but, I mean, that's EA, and they kind of, you know, they, um, they, they aren't fall. doing too good right now. No. They've they, fallen off. They, they fell off the beaten path a long time ago. And that's when, when they were working with Bioware, too, huh? Mm-hmm. They're not working. Oh, yeah, they're not working. Yeah, they are super aren't. Yeah, no. Also, what is Bioware doing anyway nowadays? They, Bioware know. needs to release another Knights of the Old Republic game. That's what they need to be working oh, on. Dude, that'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? Man. Yeah, no. I don't like I the, bet they I could... I really don't like the MMO. The MMO sucks. Yeah, no, it. you can go back and play those, uh, oh, I think Xbox and PS2, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Those games are great now still, man. I bet they could... I man, see, I, uh, I'm still on the first one. I haven't beaten it yet. Gonna no, but it. that second one is where it really gets into the like the meta. No, because my problem with the first, because I want to be you know I want to be the first one before I go on the second mm-hmm. one, but it's because it's so old. It's really really difficult to keep to get to run, and then you know, yeah. mm-hmm. and then just no, just get bugs out every now and again. So oh, um, can you just get like an emulated version on your PlayStation? Well, it's on my PC, so we'll see. Uh, and you're hmm. complaining about the way you choose. You should, I'm telling you, you're just no, getting a po- I play on my Xbox. I have um, the Xbox original console that of uh, games that you, know, you just download yeah. the whatever or two. I mean, um, it, it works fine. It's just a pain in the butt sometimes. No, one is great. That two, I ha- I'm playing two currently. I haven't quite beaten it, but uh, I tell you what, it's that's a play that one. Alrighty. Mm. Well, yeah, I'll get to it. Yeah. So next thing on next thing after Avowed was this game called As Dusk Falls. And the trailer for it was like... Can I take a guess? Is it what? vampires? No. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nearly as interesting as that. God dang it, man. So like, uh, the trailer had like this art style of like, uh, character PNGs, like as if they were in a 3D environment. I'm really not sure how to explain wait, it. so it's just a bunch of PNGs? It's like, yeah, pretty much PNGs of people... At least this is just the trailer. Okay. It's like trying to catch your eye with these inter- interesting quote unquote visuals of these PNGs of people drawn in this pseudo cartoon comic style, but um, but realistic cartoon style. If I could stop you, for those of us who don't know, PNGs. Yeah, I don't know the it's images. Well, I think it's like um, what's it called? A dot PNG is a picture. N graphic. I I don't know what the N stands for honestly, but mm-hmm. I think I think you probably get the P and the G. It's just a still well, image. Sucks. Oh, okay. Oh, so like okay. you know, like if you ever if you've ever seen a JPEG, or know what that is, or a GIF, not a GIF because a GIF no, moves. No, yeah, but, no, yeah, no, JPEG um, is just like a yeah, just a just, single yeah. They're all it's, it's, all they're, these things just mean images. The same. Yeah, they're oh, just okay. images, just okay. different uh, file formats. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you've ever seen like, if you've ever seen like those celebrity uh, standees, oh okay, the digital version of that is a PNG. Mm, okay. So that's if you can imagine now, that's what the trailer was: PNGs of people, and it was like they were like saying these things. I don't like, know how I feel about that. Had characters saying lines, and from what I could grasp from the story. It's about this guy who goes crazy, holds this other dude at uh, gunpoint, and there's this little girl who was a little girl at the time, and then years later she goes and finds this crazy dude. And I really don't understand the story. I don't understand what this game is. It's probably not a game. This is not catching my attention just because you're being unique. This is really stupid. As I, I just kind of want to be like dust till down. Like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, if you know what that is, it was the vampire movie with yeah, uh, uh-huh. Clooney and, uh, what's his name? Yeah, yeah, George Clooney, yeah, the other that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great movie, by the way. 
Because I want, I want the, I'm really waiting for that uh, Vampires the Masquerade 2. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited for that. I want that game. Mm. I do. So after that thing that infuriated me, they finally announced Psychonauts 2. Uh, I never played the first one. Oh yeah, um, is it is Jack Black either a voice or he sing, he writes a song for it? He sings the song for it. Oh, okay. Jack Black sings. Oh god. Yeah, no, Jack Black's <laughs> awesome. What do you mean? Oh god. No. It's a good song though. <laughs> is it really good? Okay. It's a good song. Watch the trailer for it. Because I'm imagining oh. Jack Black just butchering it. <laughs> no, Jack. Oh, what are you talking about? He had his own rock band. No, he can write oh, some. He, 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 okay. Yeah. I, I don't know much about Jack Black except that he's hilarious. <laughs> No, he's he's yeah, he's like a he's like a funny man and he's also like a hardcore like rock nerd fanboy. Oh, okay, I did not know that. Yeah. Right, the more you know. And most famously, he has a YouTube channel. <laughs> really he does? Yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah, I'll I'll watch this stuff from time to time. He's pretty good. He'll play that Red Dead 2. And I'm like, yeah, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> you know I've yet to play Red Dead 2. I also, I played Red Dead 1 just a little bit. And that's mm-hmm. because B let me borrow his game once. Man, that's how I got into Origins. He's like, man, I got this game. You gotta play, Kevin. I'm like, I okay, sure. <laughs> I'm and I'm like, man. and I gushed all over it. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty good. Oops, we almost doxed our friend here. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So, Psychonauts 2 actually had a gameplay trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't noted every time there was a gameplay trailer. Probably because there's like five that actually had gameplay. Yeah. Of the 22? Yes. Yeah, that's Oof. not a good ratio. Xbox, you you're not learning, are you? Not taken from P- PlayStation's Wait, example. Five out of twenty-two were what? Gameplay footage. Oh. The other oh. are just trailers. Did we go through all of them already? Was it no, we are like we're halfway through. I don't have much to say about the last few. All right, let's go. Psycho- the- Psychonauts two had gameplay. That's good. Good job, Psychonauts. Glad it's finally coming out. Destiny 2 is going to get a port to Xbox, and they're going to have all the expansions and all the nonsense. Who, ca- who But who gives a crap is about this? Is it still thing? free? You know, I, they actually said that it's going to be free to play for Game Pass members. Which is... <laughs> but isn't it free now, though? I don't know. Honestly. I thought uh, I thought that's how they saved it. Wasn't uh, the, Destiny 1 was free, though, right? If I remember. I really don't remember. I think before it died, immediately. Yeah. Like, I don't think it lived too long after. Because... I know, I know the the beer I played Destiny a lot. I never mm-hmm. did. Mm-hmm. It was never my my thing. I didn't know I needed a consistent internet to play the. And then I'm like, man, I just wasted sixty dollars. Yeah. I don't play that many online MMO style yeah. games. Oh no! What we need to get on is freaking Dead by Daylight, man. Me and you, because you're on PlayStation, and yeah, you don't oh, like it. it. Oh, the Dead by that's the one where you're like uh, recording, uh-huh. right? Or is that a different one? We talked about no, Dead that's by Daylight. dying life. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Then you're talking about the one with the the Freddy, the, yeah, the Freddy Krueger and the yeah. What you call him? Mm-hmm. We talked about that in okay. the horror podcast. That was yeah, episode yeah, okay. four. <laughs> Go check out episode four, guys. Yeah, it's real good. Wait, good stuff. Episode five. Wait, five. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was five. No, the real solution. I like is how just... we have like seven episodes and we're already getting confused which episodes are which. Well, well I wait. can't remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, I can't either. Yeah, so just watch all of them. Uh, you won't be disappointed. There's a we've talked about a bunch of good stuff. So, after Des- after announcing Destiny Two was coming to Series X, was a game called Stalker Two. Uh, is that is that what I think it is? A sequel, the, the Vampires. Series? No, no, no. The Stalker series, dude. That game's amazing. But if you've ever played, there's um, there's Stalker Call of Pripyat. There's I think that was the most recent one. I think, or am I getting them confused? But no, they're basically like think of it like Fallout. Except there's the enemies are anom- anomalies, and these anomalies are like yes, yeah. It's I remember game. yeah was like that kind of trailer. Hmm. It was, it's great. It's it's good stuff. Um, I can't believe they're actually coming out with another one because I thought that was gonna be the yeah. end of it. I think it's called, been like a very long time since it's they called had one. Stalker Two, so it's probably the direct se- sequel to the original. Probably because I know there was there was the first Stalker, then there was like two call it there's call it Pripyat, and then like something Sky. And then there was never one that was actually called two. It was just man, it's like Kingdom Hearts all over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which will segue into something else later. Alrighty. So after Stalker Two, they announced Warhammer Forty K Dark Tide, and before you get excited that it's uh, the Warhammer series, it's another shooter. It's another FPS. They there, they there, there's like there's a, there's some strategy ones out there though, right? Yes. I think, yeah. This is not one of them. This is Xbox, so we gotta push only shooters. Like, I swear, like, 
Out of the 22, there's like 14 shooters on this list. You know, to be fair, I think that's why I like the PlayStation more. It's because the exclusives on there yes. tend to be RPGs. And I prefer RPGs over shooters any day. Yeah, and RPGs are essentially legal crack cocaine. It's, <laughs> it's accepted every, and we're like, everyone's on the level. We just like, no, give us more. That's, that's, I might as well bring it up now. That's probably my favorite thing about the PS5 reveal showcase that th- this Xbox showcase just got all wrong. The PS5 showcase had a huge diverse list. Of mm-hmm. like more than just one type of game, more than just concepts, like a whole a whole list of genres and a whole list of types of games that many people would like. Whereas Xbox, all just a we bunch have one of, game and it looks good. And just after that, <laughs> after we announce the big shooty game, we announce a whole bunch of other shooty games that look like the same game. You know what's funny is. Call of Duty has never been an exclusive for Microsoft, huh? No. Yeah. And you would you would think that, because, you know, I guess Halo is their exclusive shooter. PlayStation doesn't have one, does it? PlayStation doesn't need a shooter. No, they doesn't. We will go further beyond. They don't, they, I mean, they just use Call of Duty. They don't need... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why Battlefield. they don't... Battlefield, there you go. Well, no, Battlefield that's not exclusive. Yeah, they don't... It's yeah. not exclusive. PlayStation yeah, doesn't really. want an exclusive shooter game because the shooter games that are the big series are already cross-platform. That is true. That is very true. So after Dark Tide, this is... So when I first saw this trailer come up, I, it was like a bunch of square squares of video feeds of people playing games that I imagine they were like... They called a bunch of employees and they mm-hmm. were like, Film yourself playing games. And when the trailer was running and they were like world premiere or like Xbox exclusive game, Mm -hmm. I was seriously like, what is the game here? Is this a game where you pick up the controller and then video footage of somebody playing a game is on the screen and you both act like you're playing each other, but there's no game. Wait, is is, is this a game where... I basically play as my sibling when they were younger, and I pretend to plug in the remote into the. <laughs> what the what? I'm I, also confused. I what? wish I wish that what I had thought in my mind was real, but no, it was a commercial, or it was a trailer <laughs> for Tetris. Oh. Eventually, the squares just become the Tetrids. Oh, never mind then. I thought this was gonna be like a game where I was simulating just screwing with my. Mm. It's called Tetris Effect Connected, and Tetris Effect was, uh, I suppose, yes, it was a Xbox exclusive, but it's just Tetris with a more interesting art style. Mm. And I suppose the draw for this Tetris is that you can basically do four-player co-op, so you can help other people get their Tetris. That's what it's called when you line up a line. Mm. You can, or you control people super hard, I imagine. That's where would, the real fun comes from. That would from. be even better. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. Ooh, I think Destroy All Humans too, Because you said control people. Um, I oh, think yeah. That, aren't I, they, isn't that getting a port or a remake or a it, remaster? It's getting, it's getting, yeah, a remaster. Mm. Yeah, so mm. I think that's coming out soon. It should be excited. coming soon. Yeah, because I've been seeing videos popping up about it. Because, you know, YouTubers getting their hands on it. I'm just like, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, more. Uh, so after Tetris... Was that game that I mentioned earlier called The Gunk? Can it please be just a, a, a playing as a slime? And you're just going to like... It's not. No? Never mind. Just it's like my Japanese anime. <laughs> it's like... It's like space exploration. Okay, that, that like, doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem too bad. But it looks like just like any other space exploration that I've oh, okay. already seen. Like Astroneer or... Astroneer's pretty good. Yeah. yeah that's a pretty good one. Like space exploration, collect the resources kind of game. That's what the gunk is. Have you guys ever played Eve Online? No. 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 Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I know. I was just thinking. Hey, um, side note on, we are also streaming now. That we have the one stream. It didn't go too good, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll get there. But you, you, I'm pointing at Ismont here. For yeah. those of you who can't see me point. Freaking Steins Gate, man. You need to crack open that Blu-ray that you've never cracked open. Oh, I, 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 I do. We, I, I cracked open it once, and I want We could watch Steins Gate, episode. and then, Chris, you could see. do 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 Oh, there's that Bulbasaur. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that, that slipped out. 
But uh, yeah. toot through. Oh, yeah, toot through. Uh, I, I, love, I love the Mac you say, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. my favorite. She's my favorite girl, I think. Watch, listen to our stream and yeah, watch it and listen to the podcast also. We're mm-hmm. If you miss if you miss the stream because this is uh, going up on Monday, we stream on Saturdays at two o'clock, and I promise that that's going to become a regular thing. I promise that'll become a standardized thing. Last time it screwed up because I don't know why, but I got it working this time. Yeah. So are we, after, are we wrapping up? Is that what this is? Or we're get, just uh, just a couple no, more. No, getting in all the plugins. Oh, okay. After the medium, after the gunk was the medium. Which is, it showed like this... Uh, now, this is the Silent Hill-esque looking horror yeah. game, right? Well, like this... This one I, did look interesting. Here, here's a question. Do I get to play as a medium? Yes. I think you do. I think that is... Alrighty, the, cool. Yeah. Finally, yeah, she's a like, title that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> she's like this lady who can... She can cross over into this spirit world and like uncover secrets of like murders and crimes. Ooh. And it's okay, really yeah. interesting. And mm-hmm. from what I could tell, it was just pre-rendered gameplay footage oh. but it looks like you're going to have actual dual world gameplay like controlling the girl in in the real world like and her actions in the spirit world that's pretty cool is this gonna be is it gonna be like a like a what's like a, what's what, what like a heavy rain and uh what was the other one indigo prophecy or is it gonna be like um one of those because no, the trailer is actually side by side like two models but like like color swap palettes kind of okay. looking thing so but like you see, screen? one of them is running, is like in a hellscape, and one other person's like just in an apartment building, but they're like so, it's synchronized movements huh. to like imply that they're in the same like physical space kind of thing. Split screen, or is it gonna be like um well, split like, screen? Okay, it'd be very interesting if they did like um if you play that game a way out or something like that, where you where you have it's two player. Yeah, the one about the guys getting out of jail. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool if you had like both players playing one mm-hmm. side of the other. Yeah. So after the medium. Is this game called New Genesis? I uh, on my notes I just put hype, yet I don't even <laughs> remember what the game is. <laughs> All right, also get hype. Was it again New Genesis? New, New Genesis. Tell me, Google it. Let's see what's up. Uh, look up Xbox New Genesis. New Genesis. Well, I know uh, what. Well, while I look this up, um, New World is getting closer to release. I think I think it's gonna be released next year, in January. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think I think if I have it correct, yes. So while Ismont looks that up, yeah. uh, the last thing before they announced Fable was Crossfire X, and they actually had gameplay of that, mm-hmm. and it looks really solid. Looks like it's pretty but fun. It, but it also like how Christopher referred to earlier. It kind of looks like everything else. Also, it's just another shoe. But I liked that they it looked. It, you could tell someone was playing it, and it looked crisp. And I'm like, oh, okay, Crossfire. Yeah. The main character looked oh, cool. Oh, is it Fantasy Star Online 2? Yes, that's why, because it's oh. Fantasy Star Online. Okay, there you go. Because the Fantasy Star uh, series has been gone for ages. Like, Sega just dropped that series into a dumpster fire and left it alone. Really? But it's oh. actually a really fun old RPG series, and Fantasy Star Online was an action-adventure RPG that was actually online on the Dreamcast. And I think mm, even to this day, work? even well, there's a, even to this day, there's just one server that fans keep up, and it runs oh, see, like, oh, <laughs> it runs like your DSL modem. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever to keep the dream alive, I suppose. I mean, like, mm-hmm. I can't imagine playing online on a Sega Dreamcast because my PS2, I could not get to work online yeah. for the life of me. Well, the Dreamcast had like a. It had like a modem in it. It had That's something. Interesting. Yeah, because the Dreamcast was actually made with the intent of being an online console. That's weird. Is that when the Dreamcast died? Yeah, <laughs> it died after two years. Yeah, poor thing. Rip. Oh man, four people that got that day one. And then, oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> oh rip. So Fantasy Star Online hype. Uh, Fable was the last thing uh, they announced. And I'm really curious to find out more about it. In addition to just loving the Fable series, mm. I've actually uh, never played the original Fable, so I gotta get I'll, to that. I'll man. put that on that the original. List. Yeah, you yeah, should get to get on that. Yeah, I do. I do have to get on that. Now, Fable isn't Xbox exclusive, isn't it? I don't know yet. They didn't announce if it was. Ex- I. Ooh, 
It might be a launch. I don't think I've ever seen a PS3 or 4 port of the Fable. Well, I mean, Fable is on PC, though. So I know, but Microsoft well, because... and PC kind of tend to go hand yeah. Microsoft. Yeah. That is true. You know what? Fable might actually be an exclusive to Xbox. Mm-hmm. Oh. Kevin, just Darn. get a PC. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> no, but then, no, but then I have to learn all the jargon and all the, all the techie tech. And... Not really. I want to. I all I want to do. No, my OCD would not allow otherwise. <laughs> if I'm going in, I'm gonna master it. I want to hear more about this fable because I want to know if it's a remake of the original, a reboot of the series, or a remastering, just updating the graphics of the original. Because one of those things will severely disappoint me. Alrighty. Which what's the disappointment? I kind of think a remake would be too soon. I feel. I feel like a rematch would be an easier like see um uh, see see if the hype is still there and then they'd be like oh <laughs> because freaking Fable old, Four just blew out everyone's caboose. How old is Fable? The original Fable. Um, it was on the Xbox, the original Xbox. So not that old. Not I mean, that old. Yeah. But mind you, that was in the early aughts, and we're in the twenties now. Yeah, old Time enough. Flies. That first one was. Man, I think you hit it on the nose earlier, Christopher, when you said, oh, they started off with a bang, and then they got bad over time. I mean, when you think about it, Origins was 2008, Dragon Age. Was it 2000? Oh, I guess so. It was 2008. It was, because I remember, because I have have, have it on disc, so on my... No, I think Origins is 2009, because I think Mass Effect was 2008. I want to say 8 was Origins, because I'm pretty sure. Um, Either you, way, I don't you know, like the certainty in your eyes. You're probably right. <laughs> Either way, it was over ten years ago. Yeah, it's it's crazy because you look back at that game and you're just like, it has it's aged pretty well, mind mm-hmm. you. But like, still, you can still see the how far we've come since mm-hmm. even like the past mm-hmm. decade. Oh yeah. yeah, just make it look really good with our new engines. But you just give yeah. Oh man, Fable's one of those games. I feel like yeah. You wouldn't have to actually change it up too much. Just, just bring it back, update it a bit. And no, no, just... you're right, Kevin. It was 2009. So that was the end of the Xbox Game Showcase, and we have reached about the time where we would stop, and it's getting very close to 2 o'clock, so we better get out of here and get to streaming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, before we do, can I just mention one thing? What? So I watched De- a, a, a few gameplay videos of Death Stranding for the first time. Uh-huh. Kojima. What the f***? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. So what I'm, you're saying is we're gonna stream Death Stranding? No. So I, people see. I'm not wasting money on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. Honestly, that game is not for me. I I, I don't think I'd be able to play. Yeah, it. no, clearly not. But no, I mean, no. The story seems like a mess. The gameplay seems okay. No, I just... love that it was so gassed up because it was Kojima, and then it was a big whoa. No, he he was obviously on something when he wrote that story because none of it makes any sense. I watched like ten minutes of. Just story game, and I'm just like, seriously, what the? F- no, actually, mean? when he was he was on something when he was coming up with the concept, and then he <laughs> realized he had to make something out of it when he came down. I think I think it's, <laughs> I think I think people are right when they say someone needs to tell him no. Yes. Really, just someone just needs to be like, no, no, Kojima, no. That, that yeah, that was Konami. <laughs> Besides that, I mean, it seems like a. I think it's I think it's the perfect walking simulator. That's, that's what I'll yep, call yeah, it. I'll, I think that's, that's what I'll call the game, a perfect walking simulator. Because the walking seems beautiful. Because like when you walk from one point to another point, you've got balancing, you've got all the other. I mean, the physics yep. just look really yep, nice. Yep, you've got the you. You're capable of walking. Okay, Eddie and Chris, <laughs> put the plugs here. If you go to anchor.fm slash b e a n hyphen s t o c k. That's anchor.fm slash bean hyphen stock. You can find all the links for the podcast and all six of the platforms that we stream on. We also have all of our socials linked to the descriptions of each episode as well as on our Anchor page. We also have a YouTube channel which is also linked into the description and on the Anchor page. We have a Twitch channel as well. It's not linked on the Anchor page but it will be in the description of this video. It is twitch.tv slash beans on stream. Spelled exactly as you would spell it, one word. (laughs) All All right, right. thanks everybody. See you all next week.